Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I've been gone for a really long time, probably longer than I really wanted to, but I'm in the process of moving. Um, and yeah, that's all I'll really say about that. I've just been moving. The whole quarantine thing kind of just threw me off. My room is not how I want it to be. And I'm just not in a creative mindset right now. So I did take a break from YouTube, but when, I move into my new house. I hope to get things going again and filming for you guys, but I didn't want to leave you hanging anymore, so I did create this look using the Jaclyn Hill, Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette again. Um, I used, or I created a look from her campaign, one of her campaign photos. Um, I'll leave it up on the screen for you guys so you can see, but um, yeah, so I'm sorry I've been MIA and I hope you guys don't hate me and thank you so much for 142 subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys hanging on no matter where I've been. Um, it's just, it's tough right now. That's all I'm going to say. It's just tough right now. Um, but we're getting better. You know, we're, she's trying, she's trying her very best. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much all I have to say about that. At the end of the video, I didn't include my lip and I'm sorry. Um, all I'm wearing is the Buxom lip gloss in white Russian. I don't know why I can't talk right now, but yeah, so that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you want to see how I created this look, then please just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into the look that I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. Um, this is the second look that I'm doing with this palette. And I'm gonna do um, another campaign look that she did with this palette. And I will put it up on the screen with you guys in case you wanna follow along. I'm gonna go in with, what's this color called? No Joke. No Joke, it's this yellow right here. And I'm basically going to be putting this all over the lid, taking a big um, <clears throat> fluffy brush like this, just a big fluffy brush. And I'm going to be placing this all over in the crease area and then into or onto this lid. And we're going to be building up this color. Honestly, haven't been playing with makeup <clears throat> a lot. And I had seen this picture of her and I was like, oh, I should do that. That looks really easy. So I'm just going to try the best that I can to do this look. I'm just picking up a little at a time and putting it all over the lid. Blending and using packing motions. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a denser brush and pick up that same color and pack this all over the lid. And then I'll go ahead with the uh, fluffy brush and blend it all again. So I'm basically just packing color on, blending out, packing color on, blending out until I have the desired color that I'm going for. Okay, so once you have the desired color that you're going for, I'm going to go ahead and start doing the wing now. I'm going to take Dance Party, which is this color right here. And I'm taking that on an angled um, brush, like an eyeliner brush, exactly like an eyeliner brush. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and start just doing a little bit of outlining. So for me personally, I have to pull back my eye um, just because of this corner right here. And I'm just gonna start Placing down that color. Just dragging it along the lash line. Now 
Now I'm just taking a flat definer brush and smudging out this color. And that is the wing right there. I'm gonna go ahead and go in and um, just deepen up the color a little bit, but that's pretty much it for the eyes. All right, so this is what the eye is looking like, and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other eye. Again, just taking a pencil brush, and I'm just pressing it up against my lower lash first, and then I'm going in with a different brush and just kind of brush and <laughs> smudging it out. You do want to make sure that you are, if you are doing a wing, that you connect it so it all looks, you know, like it's going together. I, can't, I couldn't figure out what I'm trying to say, but it all looks like it's flowing together. I guess that's what I was trying to say. Okay guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was a little quick um, eyeshadow look, but I'm happy I created it. I absolutely love this palette. If you haven't already gotten the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette and you really wanna play with color, I would absolutely recommend playing with this because you still have your neutral warm tones that you could do as like an everyday look. Um, but I love playing with the colors. They're absolutely beautiful and so vibrant, so pigmented. I just, I love them. And I really love how this look came out. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You better turn up. You better be there when